Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of my EU4 Immune Taxes Milan into Italy campaign. Fighting war, a war down in the Horn, north of the Horn of Africa, I suppose. It's not actually the Horn of Africa. I sp I, you know, it's actually interesting. I don't know where the Horn of Africa starts and where it stops. I'm not sure, but I'm going to conquer the whole region anyway. I suppose when you when you own it, you can decide them. People's definitions don't matter. Stettin, Civil War. I think I grabbed the most, the poorest provinces. for some reason. Yeah, they're all poor. Ah, well, what are you gonna do? I'm not keeping them anyway. These guys are, uh, running around in circles. Very interesting strategy. I did not defeat these guys, so... I'm not sure who else they're fighting? Okay, they're fighting Dobeya and Azuran. Alright. So I need to stay in this war until my ruler becomes of age. Which is four years. Because I need to attack Shiwa. Demat. Of course, Kafa's out of the war. Kafa was never in the war. But I need to attack these guys to get to Kafa. And closer to here. I'm going to improve relations with the Pope and tell him off. I am the Papal Controller, so I shouldn't worry about excommunications. This guy's only 53. Only 53. With my luck, he might as well be 80. Turkish Empire declared war on Croatia. So basically, Hungary. These guys will not stop conquering. I cannot keep up with them. Let's take three men, put them over there. Make cores. The Pope is fighting. 
Turkey. Alright. More Sunni fanatics. Our friends, the Sunni fanatics. Very good people. They visit every couple of years. I always... They're so great. They come by every couple of years. I always have to uh, insist that they leave. They never want to, but... Really, though, I am kind of concerned about Turkey. Constantly expanding. Pretty soon, I think they're going to conquer the whole of Hungary. Which would not be great for me. Continue that program. Sure. Thirty ducats. Let's update messages. There's a dog barking outside, I don't know if you can hear that. Alright, our friends rose up. There's only 16,000 of them this time. Hello, friends. Wait, so if this province... It gets... What's Chat el Jared? Because that's not the province they're in. So why does this province all the way over here get religious massacre when they spawned over here? That's kind of weird. Well, they're dead. The world may never know. Until they rise up again in a couple of years. Death taxes Sunni fanatics. Damn it, this province converted. Stop going back. God, how many people do you have to murder before they switch to Christian? I think I've, I've converted this province at least three times this campaign. Cairo was like twice. Alexandria was like once. But this province, they're just... They do not want to... They really love that Sunni. How's that one coming? Okay. A couple months.
Alright, I will have taken everything that I can. Unfortunately, the other bits that I want will be occupied by Dobea and Azuran. I think I'll get out of the war anyway, because I can attack them separately anyway. It'll pretty sure it'll call Ethiopia in whatever remains of them. So let me work out a peace deal with them. First of all, easiest ducats. I'll take that province. Want those three. They have no provinces. Uh, provinces with uh, trade modifiers, so can pretty much just take whatever. All right, and that's what I'll take. Add all of the provinces. Does anybody... Stettin, Bremen, Papal States. Can the Pope afford troops? I don't imagine France would want anything. Sunni fanatics are at 25% again, so I'm not sure I want to... commit troops for a couple years. But I will totally reduce... I'll wait for reinforcements to come back and then reduce my maintenance. Alright, so I'm basically waiting for... This, uh... Let's do Gafsva. This, uh, Regency to end. I'm gonna ally Bohemia. Break off the alliance with mains. And then I was thinking I'd like to ally Tehran, so then when I fight the Ottomans, I can fight them here, here, and up here. Come at them from all directions. Sure. No. 
Let's see, can I get money? No, but I can do... Expansion of city citizenship. I think I'll hold off for now. So all things are quiet on the western front. The Teutonic Order integrated the Livonian Order. Um, Ryazan ate some of the White Horde. I can integrate Naples in less than two decades. I think I'm going to build a fort in Ragusa. Build something there in case the Ottomans attack, then they're probably conquer kind of territory up here, but at least if they come this way I can either slow them down or at least just prevent them from getting Ragusa. Still reinforcements. And the Pope died. Well, I have an 80% chance. So we'll see. Once this core is done, I'll build the fort here. I'll upgrade it a couple times to rank four fort, delete this fort. Alright, they built they built a fort here. It's good. Alright, so now people can't just run across here and come down into my territory. So I like that. I like it to be level 5 though. They do have money for it. I'm gonna make Jerusalem a march. So it should. It's just, if the total is about, uh, if the total development of the march is not more than 25 percent of their overlord, which is based on population, so it's one percent. They get national manpower modifier, manpower recovery speed, land force limit, and naval force limit. Fort maintenance and fort defense. This is the two things that I really want because they're not going to really going to be able to raise much of an army. But that fort maintenance reduction and fort defense is great. That's basically why I have them. So yeah, they can become a march. Of 
unfortunately I can't pass any reforms because of my overextension. Which is 225%. Oh no, fuck, fuck. I don't want to do that. Whoops. Which actually reminds me I can get rid of those provinces. Uh, who wants them? So I, I immediately release Gelders. I'm 90% sure I released Gelders, and Cologne is attacking them. Isn't there a, um... Stop. Enforce peace? I need to be able to declare war on the targets. Alright, well how much can Holland buy this province? Where is it? Do you have 500 gold? Uh, prices above Dutch treasury. What is the Dutch treasury? What, like 30 ducats? Ninety-six ducats for a province. Nah. Hey Burgundy, you want to buy back your province? They're in essentially the same situation. Don't imagine England would want to buy it. It's part of the empire, and Italy is the emperor. Does not accept Dutch culture. It's above the treasury. Liege. Liege. At war. France. No. Bar is a vassal of France. Hmm, it's gonna be a little bit harder than I thought. Do you there's no way I could just like loot everything from these provinces and then ditch it? This is a good province. It's an uh, important center of trade, largest regional city, minor center of production, fish, Rhine estuary. Nobody wants it. Let's get some linen. I sure don't want it. Utrecht at war. Pretty much Holland. Is the only one. But I'm not going to give it away for 109 ducats. I'll keep it for a bit. Alright, that was some kind of, um, humiliate war or something. Do they, either of those guys want to buy it? They would be fine with it if they had the money. Alright, so I got a couple of targets that I can sell to. I can't sell to England. I've, they own Antwerp, and yet they don't want to buy this. 
You already took some provinces. You're way past that point of not accepting provinces because they're in the Empire. There goes Hungary, falling like a bunch of dominoes. So once I get this Horn of Africa situated, then I'll attack Turkey. I'll talk Turkey. Plus I want to build a couple forts as well. Build trade ships. Build a bunch of them. I have to keep pace with the Ottomans. They're at 119. I'm going to take this as soon as I can. Then I can get a uh, bunch of extra ducats. Actually, never reduced my maintenance. A couple years left. Alright, that's done. Let's go back to Benny Swiff. Alright, so this... I think I did this province. Didn't work out. Minya, maybe... Worked out. Possibly. Of course, it might just randomly reconvert. Alright, so on this border, this fort level's 5. So that'll hold them off, because I think five, 5 is the max. Yep, because Constantinople is 5. So I'm going to build a fort here, fort there, that'll protect over here. I don't expect this fort to stop Turkey from coming up, but... It's worthwhile to have it. I, th I figure. I have a port fort here. It's just two right there. I want to get this to five. If at all possible. Maybe if I gave them money. I have a hundred ducats. I think I'll upgrade this fort as well. Alright, I got the Pope again. Alright then. I 
I'm gonna take this idea, give me some production efficiency and yearly inflation reduction. Alright, now I'm making 20 ducats. Now we're cooking with oil. I'll expand city citizen city citizenship. So I can fight the Mamluks again, take this piece of territory, finish it out. Forty-eight. I'll probably eventually conquer this territory, but probably not in the next war. Just grab this really quickly and get out. So the infidel threats. Uh, Crusades were the Catholic response to the Muslim occupation of the Holy Land in the 11th century. Sure, I'll call a crusade. Smolensk has given him a bunch of... money. They have... 100,000, they have no manpower, but they do have 100,000 troops. Let's see, if I attack them right now, we have a Regency Council. Okay, never mind. Forget that. Actually, right now I'm going to uh, finish this part here and pick it up in the next part. So, the Regency Council should end in, in the next part. Because it'll end 1546, February. It's basically 1545 right now, so... After that, I might attack Turkey. I don't want to say for sure I will. It's possible. I have to see if France and Castile will join. I don't think Bohemia will join, so maybe I'll wait. Might have to wait eight years for that, so... Potentially scratch that. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll find out. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.